To run desktop flows from Power Automate Cloud, we need to configure the machine where the desktop flow should run. We go to Power Automate Cloud, and here I search for run a flow built with Power Automate for desktop. I choose that. We need to fill in the machine or machine group, domain and username, and passwords. And these are all things that we need to find on the machine where we want the desktop flow to run. So I go to the machine where the desktop flow should run. Here it's a virtual machine, but it could be a desktop, it could be a server, anything you want your desktop flows to run on, you will install this. What you do on that machine is you go to a browser, you type in google.com, and then we search for Power Automate Desktop Install and click enter. Pick the second link, actually it's the first link after the sponsored content that is here, install Power Automate, we click that. Scroll a little bit down and under install Power Automate using the MSI installer, choose download the Power Automate installer. That will download the installer, you can see it up here in the right corner. We will wait a bit until it finished. Once it's finished, we run this executable and that will set up Power Automate Desktop. Here it is, I press open file. It will take like 20 to 30 seconds, so don't worry about uh, this is stalling. The installation will start eventually. I'll fast forward here. And there it started while I drank my cup of tea. Here I just press next and we need to talk about what we need to install. You don't need to install the Power Automate for desktop. And that is if you want to build your flows on this machine, you should install it. But since we only want to run the flow here, we don't need to install this. What you need to install is the machine runtime app to connect to the Power Automate cloud portal. This is the application that lets us connect your cloud with your desktop flows. In case you don't see it, that is because you have a Windows Home Edition, you need to update to the Windows Pro. You can do that very easily through one of these uh, code uh, shops online. They are completely legal. You can get a code for around $15. Anyway, we continue. Here you say, by selecting install, you agree to Microsoft's terms of use. I'll click install. This will also take a little bit of time, so I'll fast forward the video till this installation ends. That's it. We have installed the machine runtime. In case you want to do browser automation on this machine, you should enable the extensions for Microsoft Edge. And if you want Chrome, you need to install Chrome and enable those ones as well. We are not going to use the browser extensions for this exercise. So I can just click launch app here. And in a few seconds, you will see that our machine is connected. We just need to log in and that will be it. Here it is. It says getting machine ready and here I need to pick an environment to register this machine to. I can click this drop down and since I only have an Anna Jensen default environment on this account I'll just connect to the Anna Jensen default. And here again it will take a couple of seconds maybe 20 and while we are waiting for that now we can see that we are connected we can see that uh, this machine is called Anna's Demo VM. That is just the name of this machine in the environment Anna Jensen default. That's great. One thing that we need to do on this machine, I can let me close the browser here. So I have this one open. I again go to the start menu. Here I press CMD for command prompt. I press enter. Now you type in who am I? And this will get us the domain and username. And these are things that I chose when I set up this virtual machine. If you have a desktop machine, you'll probably chose another domain and username. So here I just copy this. What you do is mark it, control C. Now we're done here on this virtual machine. So I can close down the command prompt again and let me minimize this. 
We are going to come back to our machine a little bit later because we want to test that this works. But what I can do now is that I can, um, here we can see the desktop flows, we need a machine. We cannot find it since uh, we just created it, but I can press refresh here and that will get us the machine that we just created. So I pick that one, the domain and username, delete what's already there, press control V, that was the thing that we just copied. Then we need a password. This is the password, uh, the Windows password of that machine. I'll type in mine and I actually think I will just copy paste it. I have it somewhere on my other screen. That is here. I just passed it in and then we will create it. Now we are, and this is my password saver. Now we are connected. So let's test the connection. Let's talk about the settings, what we need to pay close attention to. First of all, we need a desktop flow. Let's build a really simple one that can test that we have the connection from cloud to desktop and from desktop to cloud. So I go to my Power Automate desktop and this is on my developer machine, which is this machine that we're working at right now. Here I take new flow. Let's call this flow capital and I'll click create. We will create a really simple flow with only, and let me drag it in from the other screen, it opened over there. This is a really simple flow with just one action, but we have some input and output variables, which we can use to test that there's two way communication. So what you want to do is to go over to the right to variables, click this plus, we will have an input and an output variable. So the input variable, we will say country. This is a variable that will come from cloud and go into our desktop flow. And that will be a country. And I also call the external name country. So the variable name is called country here in Power Automate desktop. And in cloud, we also call it country, but you could have different names for those. We will not give it a default value and the data type will be text. I'll click save. Let's also create an output variable that will be the variable that we send from desktop up to cloud. And here I click the plus, say output, and let's just call this answer. Let's also give it the external name of answer. The data type will again be text. So now I've created these two. I will create one action and then we're done. Go over to action and then find a display input dialog. What this does, it prompts the user for something and then it stores the input of the user in a variable. First of all, we don't want a title. This is, will be a really simple flow. And here I will say, what's the capital of, and then we will use the country variable. Remember, we created it over here. We sent it in from Power Automate Cloud. So I'll just find it here, clicking the X on the variable picker double clicking the country. And here I'll have a question mark. Then we're going to save the answer from the user in the answer variable. So go to variables produced. First of all, we will not use the button pressed. So best practice is to deactivate it. So it doesn't confuse ourselves. And this user input, we will click this X and choose the answer instead. We will click save. That's it. That's our little simple flow. And remember, we also call the flow capital. Let, then click save so we can actually work with it in cloud. And this flow we created here on the developer machine, but this can run across all our machine. Remember, we just created the, a machine runtime on our virtual machine. So now this uh, flow is done. I can actually close Power Automate Desktop or the flow if I want. We're not going to use that anymore. So now we can fill in here. And again, I click this drop down. And again, I cannot find the flow. I just need to press refresh here. Then capital will show up. It might take again five to 10 seconds. There it was. And we can see capital down here. So I pick that. Then we need to talk about what run mode we want. We can choose between attended and unattended. Attended means that we need to have a human in the loop, or at least we need to have a Windows machine that is locked in. Unattended that uh, require a unattended license. 
that is probably around $1,500 per year. So that it is rather expensive, but that lets you run your flows when you're not locked in. So I can schedule it in the night on my virtual machine and don't have to think about it. Let's go with attended. And here you can see that when we picked the capital, then this country input automatically show up. That was because we had this variable coming in, an incoming variable in Power Automate desktop. And that means that we need to give it a value or we can have it a null value, but let's give it a value when we run here. One other thing that I want to show you is if you click these three dots, you can see your connection. Right now, I only have the connection to the demo VM. That was, let me just show you again. That was this virtual machine where our flow will run in 10 seconds, maybe 30. If I want, want to add more machines, I can just add new connections. And I can also find the connections. I can show you that a little bit later. But right now, let's try to test this to see it works. What's the capital of, let's just say, India? So that is the flow I want to run. This is a quite hard-coded flow. We triggered it manually and we hard-code in a value. But imagine that this is a part of a much more advanced flow. This is just to test the connection. Now I will save my flow and then we will test it. So we're saving here, we're testing. I'll just manually test the flow. I'll click test. And here you will see that we are already signed into desktop flows. I will click continue, then I will run the flow. Then we will go to the machine where this flow is actually running. That will be my virtual machine. And again, there'll be a little bit of delay before it will start here on our virtual machine. It will again take 20 to 30 seconds before we start here. So don't worry, we you're not doing anything wrong if it just takes a little bit of time. Now you can see Power Automate Desktop is starting here in the background. If I minimize this, you will have the display input dialog. This flow works, or at least it starts at our machine. What's the capital of India? I'll say Mumbai, lovely city. Then I'll click OK. And the flow is done here because that's the only thing we did here on our virtual machine. So what I do now is that I go back here. You can see that our flow is still running in Power Automate Cloud. Now our flow ran successfully. And if I go here to run a flow built with Power Automate Desktop, you can see that is the input that we provided and we actually got the answer back from Power Automate, Power Automate Desktop Machine, which was Mumbai. So we have two-way communication. We can now start to do more advanced flows. I promised you to show you a few more things and that is here in the cloud. Now this is done. If I go over to data, I can go into connections and here you will be able to see your connections. If I scroll a little bit down, you can see that this is the demo VM. This is the connection that we made seven minutes ago. Um, you can find it here. And here you can delete or edit it, giving it a new name or something. The last thing I want to show you is in monitor. And if you go to machines here, you will find the machines that you created, where this is our newly created machine. In case you want to network and get help with Power Automate desktop solutions, you should join the I Love Automation Discord. We are more than 6,000 developers helping each other. It's completely free. Your invitation and guide is right up here.